guys, Retro Django here. I'm on this last beta stage of the Amiga Game Selector version 2.3. As you can see, I got an error message here. It can't find the shared folder. We're just gonna cancel that. It can find the kickstarts. And I'm just so much done with this kickstart stuff. I mean, come on. And fine, copy the kickstart, copy the kickstarts. Everything is copied. Um, I'm gonna show you this beautiful stuff here, but before we do that, I'm just gonna show you and tell you something really, really cool. As you can see, all the kickstarts. Um, Paul Vince, the guy behind this beautiful image, he actually, as you can see, all the kickstarts are in here, he actually made a a drawer on 200 megabyte um, that you could just put in your PC MS DOS PC <laughs> and just copy some files and it will just pop up here but the next release of this that you will be able to download will be without that because as you can see it will it's given some issues and the best part it will be with all the kickstarts included he's fed up just like me screw those by this kickstart guys i mean we're just fed up um i mean how many times do we need to buy kickstart roms i have bought kickstart roms 7854 times in all my amigas i bought these joysticks with these some companies CD with emulators on a PC with kickstart ROMs. The latest one I bought was, what's it say up there? Amiga 3.1.4 piece of shit kickstart with some shitty files missing. Just insert workbench. I don't know what kind of shit is that. So I'm done with all that. And as you can see, this image is beautiful and it loads Amiga games so beautifully. But, there we go. On the upcoming image that will be released this week, he's working on it right now. I have just been talking to him uh, with Paul. He's working on it. And so the final will come out with all the kickstarts included. He doesn't care, I don't care. It's so dumb not including the kickstarts, okay? It's so dumb. All the images that are out there, you copy your own. Everybody has got the kickstarts, okay? Everybody has got it. And everybody who knows what Google is can just download it. I don't care. Don't talk about kickstarts anymore. It's done. So you will have an image that is just ready to go. And I fully respect that. And I love that he's going to make a... One step, download, burn the image, put it in your Amiga. Screw the kickstart ROMs, okay? Just include that shit and we're ready to go. So, when everything is ready, I'm gonna show you a more in-depth review of everything. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you something that Paul Vince has added. I talked with him a few days ago and he added emulators. How cool is that? Uh, Amiga games uh, by year and go down and say voila and say Castlevania and Cyberpunk's we have all the games it's so cool it's so cool but emulators on an Amiga how cool is that so we have got one guy at my school one kid had Amstrad and he said that the tape was building his keyboard and he, it was just so lame. He couldn't borrow tapes with us, other people, other guys. And uh, you can read stuff. Who's gonna read? Who's gonna read? No one's gonna read. And as you can see, you just press here and you have this. Um, okay. Amstrad 128 microcomputer. How cool is that? Let's uh, go back. So he has included this. And he has included the Commodore 64. As soon as I saw this, I was like, wow, man. I really love the Amiga. I absolutely love it. 
but Commodore 64 was my first PC. It was my first computer. Um, Arknoid. <laughs> and I played a lot of Commodore 64 games. And we all loved it here in Denmark. None of us had the floppy drive. We all, we all had a, uh, a cassette tape. Okay. But one guy had the Amstrad. And he said it was so much better than the Commodore 64. Which no one believed. <laughs> but one other guy had a ZX Spectrum that his dad came home with from the UK. And he said it was so magical. I have never played no ZS, ZX Spectrum games and I'm really looking forward to trying it. Yes, it's on an Amiga emulator and emulation sucks, we all know that. But we're gonna try it and we're gonna try it with this thought in our head. Here, my friends, we love the Commodore 64. I wanna try this and see how it compares with the Commodore 64. Was it as good? Was it better? How... The Commodore 64 had the set chip. How was the audio in here? How was the graphics? How was the game play? I mean, I'm so... This is the first time. I mean, I have... 1942. So, it's the same 8-bit era. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna adjust the graphics. I'm gonna see this like this one looks like the Commodore 64. I'm just gonna go in and uh, Bruce Lee, great sit soundtrack. We're gonna test it, okay? First time, you and I. First time for me. ZX Spectrum, Bruce Lee. All right, let's see how it sounds, how it runs, how it looks. Data soft. Now, we're emulating, so if you ZX Spectrum owners are saying, no, the colors are, the colors are off, uh, then, in there okay the, the music it sound bad but it also ran very very slow oh chase hq so the music ran slow and i think i think that's i think the reason why the music runs slow that's because we're emulating and as i said earlier emulation sucks so uh, are you happy with your choice yes i am was this comparing fighting against the commodore 64 what in the what? <laughs> no man. Oh, I am so sorry for you guy. <gasps> Commando on the Commodore 64. J for joystick. J. Select. Uh, I don't know this. Press this. What? He changes colors. <laughs> Look at this. This is the perfect camouflage. He changes to green. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is Zenith. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god, I'm so happy I had a Commodore 64 
because this sucks donkey's ass. What in the what? Let me... Why don't we have no pictures? What's going on? I mean, I feel so sorry for you guys that had the ZX Spectrum. Go ahead, after watching this video, buy yourself a Commodore 64. They cost nothing. They're just cheap as peanuts. And this will be, uh, this is beta version. This will be done and gone. And this image is on a 32 gigabyte image. I just got it now, 32 gigabyte speed up to 120 megabytes per second sand disk something i just bought uh yeah emulators uh, but here we have screenshot let me see some of the games i remember from the commodore 64 cybernoid dang it it looks bad on this zx spectrum thing look at ghostbusters Oh my god! <laughs> Sinclair ZX Spectrum keyboard. Yes, please. Yes! QA. Yeah, yeah, no one cares. No one cares. Come on. Z is fire button. Fire, fire. Space, enter, go. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh no! Max speed. Is this the maximum speed? Oh, emulation sucks. Darn it. Okay, this is my experience with first time uh, with ZX Spectrum. It. Cannot, I mean, the Commodore 64 is like 10 million times better than this. Yes! <laughs> All right. Uh, Paul, my dear friend, just remove this ZX Spectrum from this image. I mean, it's just, just remove it. No need for it. Amstrad. MU CPC, um, yeah, nice. My friend, remove this also. Who cares about this? This is cool. This is awesome. Okay. Emmy Master Gear. This is Sega. Okay. Um, where is power on? Insert cartridge. No cartridge inserted. <gasps> Are you kidding me? My favorite Sega game is Alex Kid in Miracle World. Look at all the games. Golden Axe. Oh, but Alex Kid. I mean, I love Alex Kid. Insert. 128 kilobyte ROM, Game Gear, Master System. It's a Master System. Uh, it's PAL and keyboard and power on, I guess. We have inserted the cartridge. Let's power it on, okay? Bam. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, yes! It's so cool! Ah, yes! How do I... Oh, here we go. Oh, this is beautiful! I'm loving it! Uh, how do I go into the menu? I have to select that. Oh, I need to... Check that ring on, man! Bada 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 I'm not used to pressing on a button to jump. Oh! <laughs> How cool is this? 
I mean, you can emulate Amiga on your Commodore or, uh, or Sega on your Amiga. <laughs> it's so cool. Ah, a ghost! You have to run now. Oh, there we go. Ah, it sucks playing like this, man. The keyboard. Uh -uh. That, that. I don't remember if the timing is perfect with the audio. I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's an emulator. Uh. Uh. I used to love this game, man. Ah, no! And only one of the kids had this Sega. It was expensive. It was so expensive back then in the 80s, guys. We weren't the richest kids in the block. None of us had the um, super, no, what's it called, man? Nintendo Entertaining System. None of us. None of us. We all had the Commodore 64. We just shared those cassette tapes and coffee games like crazy. It works. This works. Let's end this video by trying. So, Paul, keep the Sega Master System. Delete Spectrum. Delete that ZX. It runs slow and it, it's just crap. Amstrad deleted. Commodore 64. Oh my sweet mother of candy flush. Why do we lose the picture over there? After a couple of... Oh, Bruce Lee. No, we're gonna, we're gonna test Commando, okay? We're gonna test Commando on my Amiga 1200. It's accelerated, running at 50 megahertz with the 030 processor, 128 RAM. And... Auto fighter. Yes! We're gonna try another game. <laughs> We're just gonna try uh, Bruce Lee, right? Alright, Bruce Lee, Commodore 64, last game. Yes, this is Commodore 64. We all love this! Uh, it is loading. It, in 2023, September, loading games. We're like, what's going on? I don't think it should sound like that, so we have some errors there. Uh, run, stop, is that control or caps lock or... Oh yes, it's loading! I hope that it works. Come on, this is so awesome! Yes. We waited, back then we waited for so long time. Don't get epilept epileptic stuff now. All right, Commodore 64, oh yes, I mean, Commodore 64 was awesome, man. Unlimited lives, no thank you. No thank you. Yes, no. No, yes, come on. Don't do this. Oh, enter, sound on. We hit the yes or no button for a second ago. Where was it? God is my witness. I hate emulators, okay? I just, they, are, they just suck. <laughs> Let's try something that I know because the sound ran a bit slow. Green Beret, of course. All right. And you can see here, here at the menu, you can, of course, you can go in and set up the um, keyboard control for it. Um, but let it just load. Yes! It runs slow, you can hear it. It runs slower, just like on the ZX Spectrum, it runs a bit slow. That was caps lock or what? No. There we go. 
Okay, let's load the game. It feels like the Commodore 64 runs on slow mo. So if it runs that slow, again emulation, uh, then Paul just remove this also, my friend. But let's just load the game if it works. Um, because there's, there's, I mean, if if it doesn't run almost perfect, I know it's not uh, FPGA perfect. <laughs> But if it runs so much slower, do you want to have unlimited lives? No, I don't. Flamethrower, do you want to be invincible? No. Just start the game. I just want to see the speed of the gameplay. Yeah, it runs too slow. That was emulation on the Amiga 1200. Sucks donkey's ass. <laughs> I only like this uh, Sega Master System. I think we should keep that and just erase everything else. All the other three were just bad. Bad to the bone. Golden eggs. Come on. Let's see here. Speed real, fast, turbo. Real, all right. To press start button. I mean, Se Sega emulation runs fine. It sounds bad, but uh, yeah. Na na na. Running Sega on the Amiga, isn't that cool? Oh, can I shoot upward? Yes, I can. Na da, na da. Okay, Sega is cool. Let's keep that. Let's remove everything else. <laughs> All right, look at this, guys. Uh, what was that game called? We just played it. Ghost. Was it an AGA game? Ghost and Goblins. Uh, why don't? Why doesn't this? We have. Yeah. All right. Let's check out the Amiga version. Oh, here you can just choose with your mouse unlimited times and yeah, force joystick something. Oh yes, guys. This is the Amiga version. There we go. Ghost and Golems. First fire. Alright, the Amiga version. Of course, that runs perfect. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, baby. Amiga, Amiga is the best. Oh, come on. Guys, thank you for watching. In uh, in in few days, Paul Win Vin Paul Vince will release. He will take care of everything here, and he will release a perfect version for you guys to enjoy. Everything is for free. Kickstarter is included. I've been after him. I said to him, I mean the crybabies. That will cry about including a kickstart run. Let them cry somewhere else. No one cares. Okay, just include it, everything. 
make it plug and play, let people enjoy what Commodore programmed 40 years ago, let people just get it and enjoy it. And people that wants to donate and say thank you to Paul Vince, you guys should absolutely do that because many, many hours of work this guy has done that and he's doing everything alone and he's such a sweetheart. If I have something, he just answers back immediately and he just wants us to enjoy our Amigas. That's his whole purpose of this, nothing else. Everything for free, guys. Paul, thank you, my dear friend. This is this is awesome. I mean, the main thing is to make you know uh, Amiga, Amiga work, of course, and it works absolutely astonishing. Have a great day out there. Bye.